2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. Welcome everyone, let's get ready for some NBA basketball on 2K Sports. With Brett Berry and Greg Anthony, this is Kevin Harlan, and David Aldridge will be joining us on the sideline as well. It's the Philadelphia 76ers and the Portland Trailblazers. And it's going to be the Trailblazers off the tip. Look at the 76ers starting group. They've got Irving. McGinnis out there with Dawkins. Then it's Collins, and it's Bibby in at the one. Well, that'll get you a pat on the back from your teammate McCollum. Unselfish and aware, picking out the perfect pass. So the Portland Trailblazers able to put the first points up on the board. Irving can't get it to go. He's not an easy man to stop, but he's attacking the basket. The D doing everything he can. So flying high and throwing it down with the one hand. Woo, one of his favorite moves right there, guys. Now, here is Bibby. Outside Cowan. Bibby passes to McGinnis. Good work defensively by Whiteside. And stolen by Irving. And just about a minute into the first quarter. Bibby passes to Collins. Here's Dawkins. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. The 76ers shooting their first free throws of this one. The first one falls. And both free throws good for Dawkins. And here are the Blazers. Lillard outside. And Lillard throws it down. Once Lillard hits the ground running, he's ready to throw it down. The D has got to step in front of him to prevent that. Maybe against Lillard. Pass to Dawkins. And here's Collins. And the officials signal the backcourt violation. Not very careful there. So first quarter just over a minute and a half in. It's good. That's what I'm talking about. That's a perfect four for four start for them. Now they're just getting all the shots they want. Alert against Bibby. They get a hand on it. Outside Cowan. Six on the shot clock. Pass to McGinnis. It's hauled in by the Trailblazers. Here's the break. Here's Lillard. Makes it off the glass. Lillard's got six. Taking this defense to task so far. No misses in their first five attempts. Maybe against Lillard. First quarter of ball, almost two and a half minutes in. McGinnis, the pass to Irving. Here's the lob to the hoop. And Dawkins slams it in. And hard to decide which was better, the pass, the catch, or the slam. Well, there's no wrong answer. Sens <laughs> sensational alley -oop. And the basket by McCollum. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. And there's the pass to Collins. From seven, Irving can't hit. His interior scoring is one of the things that drives their offense. Don't expect him to miss many at all. That one falls. I like their focus coming in. Terrific execution so far. Going for the juggler right off the bat. I mean, jumping out to an impressive early lead. And it's Portland with the rebound. Whiteside's got four rebounds in this game. All right, let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Alden. Well, Kevin, I was able to catch up with the head coach of the 76ers. Talk to me about the importance of protecting the rim, challenging opponents at the top of the jump, and making it difficult for them to convert easy baskets. But to have a chance of that, they have to expend energy getting back in transition, which will help close down those driving lanes. So guys, we'll see where their energy lies throughout this game. Thank you, David. So Portland ends up going with the new group. 
and the 76ers will go for a different look here. Catchings is checked in for Dawkins. Mix comes in for McGinnis. Mike Dunleavy, he's checked in for Collins. And Freeze subbed in for Bibby. And here are the Trailblazers now. After Julius Irving's miss, he's more for three, and he's good on the three ball. Oh, this is the kind of start they were hoping for. There's 57 seconds left to play here in the first. Nurkic with the double team. Here's Dunleavy. Passes it to Free. Will it go? And it's off the back rim. No good. Oh, he did everything right there except hit the shot. He's more on the wing. Free defending. Here's Nurkic. And again, it's Portland converting. Offensively, defensively, they are in total control. Uh, starting to take over here, building a big lead that could ultimately prove insurmountable. One second separating the shot clock and game clock. Inside. The shot's good from Irving. He's so aggressive at that end of the floor, and that's a quality all great scores have. Now, here's Nurkic, the 11-footer, and he got that one up in time, but doesn't go in. And so it's Portland, riding a 15-point lead at the end of the quarter. Defensively, they have gotten after it, contesting every shot going up. And we'll be right back after this. And so far through one quarter, it's been a lopsided game. We'll see if that changes here in the second. And the Trailblazers have really been rolling, haven't they? Well, the offense is clicking, and they seem to have seized the momentum here early on. Yeah, how many coaches say, we want to start fast? Now, let's see if they can maintain that intensity. And now, brought to you by Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset our lineups. On the floor for Portland, Good and Tolliver at the forward. Then there's Yusuf Nurkic. Then there's Kent Bazemore. And it's Trent in at the point. To the middle. Here's Tolliver. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. Tolliver's got his first two points. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket coming off a pretty pass. Here's Dunleavy. He's covered by Bazemore. Pass to Catchings. It's blocked. And now Portland on the break. And Nurkic, the bucket on the assist by Bazemore. Nurkic has got his second bucket. That's their third straight make off an assist. Here in the second quarter with a little over a minute gone. Trailblazers leading by 17. Here's Bazemore. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. That one on Dunley. The Trailblazers shooting their first free throws of the game. And last season, when they got themselves to the line, they usually came through as a team up around 81%. And some changes here for the 76ers. McGinnis comes in for Mix. And Collins subbed in for Dunley. And Philadelphia has possession. Outside Collins. Here's McGinnis. That one, no good. So the Trailblazers will take it the other way. Here's Bazemore. It's good for his second make. He's made two or three so far. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Outside Cowan. Here's McGinnis to stop the run. And he tries off the glass, but it's no good. Pass to Trent. Kicks to Nurkic. Ryan against Hood. And it's out of bounds as the Portland Trailblazers retain possession. Hawkins checked in for the 76ers. Bibby comes in for free. Here's Trent, fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. Every 
time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the paint. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the game here. And not the guy you want to see at the line too often. Season numbers has him in the bottom tier of the league. And Philadelphia calls time here. And the lack of rim protection, top of the list. Without question. They're giving up too many high percentage looks. A trend that they like to reverse. Dawkins kicks to Bryant. Quarter two and just under two and a half minutes gone by. That one's off. Still out of sync. Boy, you can just see the frustration growing on their faces. Nothing going their way. It's something that happens to every team. You just have to ride it out, play your hardest, and live with the results. Here's Trent. They lead by 24, their biggest margin. Shot clock at five. Back to Norkic. The Trailblazers need to get off a shot. Count it. Trent's got five points now in the quarter. you got to commend the unselfishness of Nurkic. I mean, a guy you can count on to share the rock. Outside Cowan. The pass to McGinnis. And the ball travels out of bounds. It was last touched by Nurkic. Irving's checked in for the 76ers. Outside Cowan. Lock at six. Here's McGinnis. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. And with that basket, he puts a stop to the 13-0 run there by Portland. The 76ers shooting their third free throw shot of the game. Passes it to Hood. Irving with the steal. Here's McGinnis. Good, and the assist goes to Irving. Guinness has got five. Attacking in transition, the most consistent way to generate easy looks. Yeah, you can tell they love to get out and run when the opportunity is there. Tolliver, no luck. And you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Irving passes to Bibby. Dawkins against Nurkic. Eight away. Dawkins, good. He has six. Since he's wide open, he's got time to add a little style with the fader. Portland moving the ball around. Pass to Baseball. Here's Trent. From deep. Bibby with a defensive effort. 44 seconds left in the first half. Pass to Dawkins. Maybe with it. Outside Cowan. Here's McGinnis. Again, Philadelphia. He's finally coming around, trying to make up for that goose egg he put up in the first quarter. Hazemore finds Nurkic. Here's Trent. There's 14 seconds left to play in the first half. And now the 76ers on the break. Collins is running, and he makes good on the layup. Gets behind the D on the break, and the pass is, I mean, it's there waiting for him. Here's Bazemore. A three. He can't get that one. And so it's the Portland Trailblazers. Their lead at 15 going into the break. They've had such great ball movement and shot selection, and it's left. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, folks. After two quarters, it's Portland out in front. They lead by 15. Kenny, some perspective, please. That was the half of the super sub for them. A lot of offense coming off the bench, and that's such a luxury to have that kind of firepower available. There were times when the pace picked up when it's... <laughs> and that'll do it for our halftime report. Stay tuned for the second half. About to get underway.
Well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. you got to like what Kent Bazemore has done in this game. But, but really, the numbers aren't gaudy. They don't stick out, but his energy and impact does. Oh, you're right. Go in the locker room, ask anyone on his team. He's not worried about statistics as much as he is about winning. So on the floor for Philadelphia. Hawkins is out there with McGinnis. Then there's Irving. Then it's Bibby. And it's Collins in at the shooting guard. And the shot is good. It's a great move, and he catches the defense completely off guard. You'd like to see a little more energy coming out of halftime on the defensive. And we've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. Well, Kevin, one of the things that teams are more aware of in the age of analytics is the importance of sleep. Those teams are making adjustments. Morning shoot-arounds have been moved in some cases to the afternoon or eliminated altogether. There are many fewer teams that are taking red-eye flights across country. Some teams even give players orange-tinted glasses to encourage them to sleep. There's a lot of work to be done in this field, but the direction is clear. Continuing to evolve. All right, David, thank you. The 76ers trail by 15. Bibby passes to Irving. It's hauled in by the Trailblazers. Whiteside's got lead on number five here tonight. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. And he wanted everybody in the building to feel that ferocity. And we did. Yeah. We, we felt it. Even over here, we felt it. Here's Irving. And it's Whiteside with the rebound. His offense has been non-existent tonight. This really hurt them. They swipe it. Four on three break. Here's Irving, and Dr. J slams it in. And you love the quick ups, but then how about that explosiveness on the finish? Irving, man, he just has incredible gifts. And the refs are going to rule that unnecessary contact. It's a flagrant one foul. And Kevin, that's a pretty dangerous play right there. I mean, I don't like to see a player put an opponent in harm's way. As much as you just saw him do there, glad they pinned a, a flagrant. Yeah, you're right, Greg. The officials were all over it. They weren't going to let him off the hook that time. What you love about Litter is his drive. He wants to keep improving. He's a super competitive player. Catching up on the changes for Philadelphia. Catchings is jacked in for Dawkins. Bryant comes in for Collins. And Freeze subbed in for Bibby. Lillard dishes to Whiteside. Back to Lillard. Down to five on the shot clock. And he gets it to go. Lillard's got ten points in the game. Uh, what poise right there from Lillard. Outstanding to finishing in tight spots. Outside Irving. Here's McGinnis. That one drops for him. He's got nine. Just no resistance on the inside. That's their fifth consecutive make in the paint. Lillard. Oh, oh come on. Did you see that? Did you see that? It's easy to forget about Lillard's hops. I mean, this guy has some sick dunks up his sleeve. Outside Irving. There's the pass to McGinnis. Over his own yeah. Knocked loose. And it's the Trailblazers on the break. And he's going up for the alley-oop. And it's Riddle finishing it off. And how about the communication between teammates on that alley-oop? And that's where you need to pull that time thing out, off. Out. And Philadelphia calls time here. And the 76ers with some changes. Mix checked in for McGinnis. And Dudley subbed in for Bryant. McCollum against Irving. Passes it to Dunleavy. Some nice ball movement here by the 76ers. Six to shoot. Pass to Catchings. The 76ers need to get off a shot. And they force the shot clock violation. Great team. Here's Whiteside. He'll bring it up for the Trailblazers. 
Their defense has only allowed six points in the second half. And it's Lillard missing. That works just like they drew it up until the part where he short arms the lead. And the ball's tied jump up, so ball, we'll jump, have a jump, jump ball. ball. You too. Portland with the ball. Hezonia finds Whiteside. And the layup's good off the glass. Whiteside's got his first basket. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. Free against Lillard. Irving passes to Free. So Portland ends up going with the new group. The Blazers on offense. They're on a 14-6 run. Pays more on the wing. He has seven. Snatched away. Here's free. Ball's knocked loose. Two on one as they jump out on the break. Here's Tolliver. That one goes. Count it. Tolliver's got his second bucket of the game to go. Moving it around. Eight of their last ten coming off assists. Nineteen seconds left to play in the third. And now Portland on the break. Here's Trent. Rips down the breakaway slam. Well, if you don't take care of the ball, fellas, that's what can happen. Absolutely, Greg. That makes the turnover even more painful. Yeah, going defense to offense in an instant. Every team now calibrated to do that. But that's a perfect setup. Solid screen, defender can't avoid it. Opens up a clear path to the bucket. And as we conclude the third quarter, pretty much a blowout. It's been a one-sided affair. Trailblazers out in front, delivering the blowout. From Portland, we're back in a moment. And how about a look now at our assist of the game? Brought to you by State Farm. Uh, just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball. And how about the perfect delivery? How about the unselfishness? Night in and night out, we see guys trying to force their own agenda. Not that time. And there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. Hood and Tolliver at the forwards. Then there's Kent Baseman. Then there's Yusuf Nurkic, and it's Trent in at the point. That's the group on the floor for Portland. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the boards has been impressive. One-on-one -on -one here. Oh, and he's going up for the alley-oop here. Oh, and just a soft touch on both ends of that pretty alley-oop. I got to say, when he threw the pass, I didn't know where it was going. Here's Mix. In the corner, it's Dunleavy. Shot clock at six. Tries it from 19. And the rebound by Nurkic. Nurkic has got his fifth rebound in this one. Hood drives in, and the shot goes down. Not a lot of resistance on the inside, and they're taking full advantage. Dunleavy up top. He's covered by Bazemore. Brown outside. Shoots over Baysmore. Portland grabs the miss. A little over a minute and a half of the fourth quarter gone now. Feeds it to Tolliver. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting it in the paint and continue to score consistently. Now Brown, Miller, the pass to Mix. In the corner, it's Dunleavy. 
Looking to end the run. Another miss by Philadelphia. These guys have had some good motion on offense. Nice assistant. And, and when everyone's involved offensively, it has a way of helping you on the defensive side as well. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. Miller outside. Here's Mix. He kicks to Dunley. And he drops in the way up off the glass. And with those points, he puts it into that 10-0 run by Portland. And here's Bazemore. Pass to Trent. Fires the three. Miller grabs the miss. Third minute of action now gone here in the fourth. Now Dunleavy tries it from 19. And it's Portland with the rebound. Norkic has got eight rebounds in this game. Get open, get open. To the inside and stolen by Miller. They've got the five on three advantage. Here's Smith. Rebound by Norkic. Norkic has got nine rebounds now tonight. Put on the wing, defended by Dunleavy. Stolen away, nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt there. And oh, here we go, Dunleavy's got it, the fast break chance. And the pass to Smith. Some nice ball movement here by the 76ers. Just five on the clock. For three, Dunleavy, no good there. And it's Portland the other way. And Portland with the ball. Big stretch here going 10-2. Here's Nurkic on the money with the open jumper. And you can sense that these fans, these players, they are ready to celebrate. Well, you know they are, sure. I mean, come on, the finish line is in sight. All they have to do is play it smart. 44 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And Dunleavy gets it to go in. Time out, time and out. pro move there. For Jordan player of the game, Yusuf Nurkic. And his percentage from the field tonight seems almost made up. I, I didn't think it was possible to have that kind of success shooting the basketball. You, you need a little bit of luck, a bunch of hard work, and a whole lot of talent. The lift he got from this home crowd has been obvious. There's nothing fans love more than getting a big game out of someone other than one of their stars. 40 seconds left in the fourth. McCollum finds Lillard, fires from deep. That one is good again. He sits right from the floor with the basket. And credit the whole team. It was a focused, concerted effort to put this one away. Yeah, I love how they play for one another out there. No signs of selfishness. They're just a total team effort. Dawkins, good. Oh, good interior offense. Those passes have to be right on target. Guys, they can just sit on the ball here if they want to. They have earned this win. And Lillard kicks to Hazania. Right side, the pass to Hazania. Lillard looking around. And so Portland takes this one, but by a big margin. They won this game going away. They were the better basketball team by far tonight. And you got to commend this sort of dominance, particularly here at home. It's a great feeling when you play almost a perfect game and to have that crowd be so pumped up. And that about wraps it up. For David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and Chris Weber, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching the NBA on 2K Sports. We'll see you later.